All right. Today's story is from 2003 in Osceola National Forest and muzzleloading. I had a, uh, I had a, uh, taken a uh, personal holiday from work from the sawmill on a uh, the Monday, the first first Monday of the the nine day muzzleloading in Osceola. And uh, I wasn't able to hunt. I had to work the weekend. So anyways, it's a Sunday night. Me and the wife, we stayed up real late. Didn't get to bed till 2 o'clock in the morning. So uh, anyways, rolled out of bed right at daylight. I, I slept four or five hours, and uh, by the time I got through the woods and got in my stand, my climbing stand, it was probably 8.30, and uh, set up very nine. I was sitting right on the edge of a swamp, and there was a Flatwoods Hill out there in front of me, and there was a a fire line they had cut probably a couple years before that. It was still kind of fresh, and a uh, lot of sign right there. They'd been they been walking that fire line, and uh, so I just set up there. You know, I wasn't really expecting much, and uh, I don't know about. 10 o'clock, 10, 15. Just happened to look down old fire line and here come Mr. Spike. About a, about a six inch spike. Come feeding up the, the trail there. I got to watching him and he was, uh, they had, had burnt that. And uh, he was eating the the new growth of uh, from ferns that when they had come up, and uh, it was he come on in there and he got about I don't know thirty five yards broadside right there in the the fire line and uh I cracked him with the old fifty caliber CVA Bobcat muzzle loader right behind the shoulder. Round balls. I didn't use none of that other mess. I I hunt strictly traditional. I ain't about all that whatever you call that stuff they got now and had then uh, pre-packaged the, I don't know, I don't even know what you call it. I pour powder, patch, and ball. That says it all. Powder, patch, and ball. I ain't worried about how, if it's difficult or if it's aggravating. That's how the old timers hunted and that's how I want to do it. I ain't no I don't know what you call it. people nowadays that want everything so easy, easy, easy. But uh, anyways, the bottom line, I got me some meat. And that was when it was the the antler length was the, the good rule, one inch above the hairline. Not this, not this crap they got today. I ain't I ain't into all that. I I don't understand about why it's got to be a damn trophy. It's got to be. I want a big buck. For what? <laughs> For what? 
just to have some antlers on the wall and say, oh boy, look what I did. Man, it's about what you put in the freezer on the table. It ain't about, look what I did. I'm a big man. But anyways, that's just my thoughts. And I know everybody else, you know, nobody thinks like I do. But uh, anyway, I got me some deer meat. Drug the old boy back to the road, put him on a Ford truck and hit it home. And let me tell you something that evening. When I got when I got done skinning that boy out, when I got home, man, some of that fresh, cut up deer meat, fried, made some rice and some some gravy. I think I might even had a can of open a can of cream corn with it. And let me tell you something. Y'all know what I mean. All right. Everybody say go Gators. <laughs>